First of all, they have not outright come and said, there's a problem and we're gonna fix it. So what have they done with the PlayStation 5 Pro that's so different? When we split it apart, we see that the APU has nothing different. But when we look at the heatsink itself up over here, here we actually can see some little lines that have been machined into the cooling block. If we strip away the liquid metal, we can suck it all up and then use a Q-tip to kind of slide away what's left here you'll suddenly start to see these grooves a lot closer. So now here is a super ultra close-up picture of the machining block that we're talking about here. And you can see that they've got these patterns in here that have high spots and low spots. That's designed so that the liquid metal will actually catch on the edges of that and fill the entire block without dripping down. Now, all of the other PlayStation 5s do not have this pattern machined into the block. And that is Sony quietly acknowledging that they've got a heating problem and they've went and fixed it on the Pro. If there ever was a reason to upgrade to the Pro, this is a very good one, system longevity. There's a very good chance that this system will not suffer from overheating as the PlayStation 5 Fat and the PlayStation 5 Slim do. 